Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be creating a new month flyer using Pixelab and Snapseed. So first, let's set our background to an image. I'll crop the image and make it a square. Next, I'll import an image. Increase the size of the image to cover the full screen. Go to color filters and set the brightness to minus 23 and the contrast to 22 to lighten up the image a bit. Make sure it's centered. I'll import another image. For this one, I'll just rotate it and place it at the bottom right. Duplicate it and place the other one at the top left. I'll just save this and head over to Snapseed. Here in Snapseed, I'll import the image I just saved. Go to Details and increase the structure to 21. Go to HDR Scape, with the People filter selected, reduce the filter strength to 5. Go to Tonal Contrast. Set the high tones to 46, mid tones to 63, low tones to 49, protect shadows to 25 and the protect highlights to 29. Go to Lens Blur. Pinch in on the circle to reduce the area covered. Drag it to the bottom right and reduce the transition and vignette strength to 0. Increase the blur strength to 92. Go to white balance and increase the temperature to 18. Go to tune image, set the brightness to minus 15, the contrast to 6 and the saturation to 8. Go to grainy film and select the AO1 preset. Set the grain to 18 and the style strength to 68. Now save this image. Let me show you something quickly. Click on this button. Click on QR look, I'll just create a new QR look. Now anyone that scans this will get all the styles from this image. At times this may not work especially when the styles are too many. But it's really helpful. I'll leave the QR code in the description so you can quickly scan and get this. Now, back in Pixelab, let's just create a new design sheet. I'll set as the background for this one the image we just edited in Snapseed. Next, I'll just import other project images. Just scale this and place it at the center. I'll just quickly erase off some parts of her hair as my masking was bad here. Create a new text. For this one, I'll be using Nighthouse font. Scale it up and go to Inner Shadow. Here, I'll set the color of the shadow to an opaque black you can copy the color code. Make sure your blur radius is on 3. Set the offset X and Y to minus 7 and minus 8 respectively. Enable emboss and just leave all the values the way they are. I'll send the text behind the image here and center it. I'll create a new text. I'll set the font to connect regular. I'll just reduce the size and increase the letter spacing.
Next, I'll create a shape. I'll just select this message box shape. Go to stroke width and increase it to 40, make sure that your stroke has curvy edges. Set the stroke color to white. Don't reduce the opacity from here since we've added a stroke. Go to opacity here and reduce it to 30%. I'll just adjust the size, rotate it in place it close to the image. Next I'll import another image. I'll adjust this one and place it behind the character and the message box. I'll duplicate it and position this other one at the opposite side. Next, I'll import another image here. Just some leaves. I'll just position it at the top. Duplicate it and position this other one at the left side. Next, I'll create a rectangle and set the radius to 100. I'll reduce the opacity to 30. I'll just quickly add my details in the box there. Now, I'll just select a random quote from Pixelab and fix in our message box there. I'll just make it right aligned. I'll change the font and fix it in the box. I'll save just save my work and head over to Snapseed to add some blur effect. Here in Snapseed, I'll import the image. Go to Lens Blur, reduce the transition and vignette to zero. Increase the blur radius to 50. Now, go to View Edits and click on Lens Blur. With the brush value at 100. Brush over the message box. Do the same for the rectangle at the bottom. When you're done, save the image so Snapseed can remember your last edits. Once you save it, head back to Pixelab and hide the areas you've blurred out that's the message box with its content and the rectangle with its content. Save the image again and go back to Snapseed. Open the image here in Snapseed and click on last edits. It will apply the last edit to this current image. Now, save your work and head over to Pixelab again. Here in Pixelab, hide or delete all that wasn't hidden before.
Now, set as the background the image from Snapseed. Next, make all the hidden layers visible again, now the lens blur effect we added will be below the actual layers. Save your image and let's head over to Snapseed for the final edit. Import the image in Snapseed. Go to white balance and increase the temperature to 11. Go to HDR scape and reduce the filter strength to 5. Go to portrait select combo 3. Change the effect to dark and click OK. Go to tonal contrast, just leave all the values the way they are. Go to details and increase the structure to 6. Now, go to grainy film. You can select any of these preset styles that you like, they all look really nice. But I'll stick with the AO1 preset. Reduce the value of the grain and the style strength. You can add vignette if you want. I won't add it here. And that's all guys you can save your work now. Alright, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please if you did, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more value. Click a video on screen to get more knowledge on Pixelab and smartphone graphic design. Click on my social links in the description to follow me on social media and to join my telegram and whatsapp group chat to get more information.